Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today we are going to try to transfer some of those baby Black Widow spiders from that last surprise hatching. We're going to try to put them into a couple containers. These containers, they're bug containers. I got these online from Josh's Frogs. I buy a lot of supplies there. And for those of you who say I don't learn anything, well, I learned something from Leo Kim video and he says make sure you put a little water source down in the bottom of the container, especially for the baby spider, baby monster spiderlings. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to put another highlighter marker in this container too for them to climb up and down. Let's open up the Voss water container with tape on it that we're holding the spider babies in. And let's try to get some of them out. All right, looks like we have a few of them in there now. All right, I'm going to put the lid back. They're dangling out of there. I'm going to put the lid back on the Spider Baby Containment Voss bottle, and then we'll move on to capping the other container. And we have a few fruit flies left, so we're going to thump some fruit flies in there for the Spider Babies to eat on, hopefully. The thing about these bug containers and their lids, the containers I think are these food service containers, and these lids, they're special made with a little gauze there so tiny bugs can't get out, but they do not fit well. And you really need to press down good to make sure you got a good see. Oh, look! <laughs> we just okay. We got a problem. We just cracked it right up the side. All right, so we're gonna grab another container, slide that into there. So yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a couple little escapees there. Squashed them. And. Um, Get the lid on there, and this time I am putting the lid on it. This one little spot didn't want to... Okay, got that popped on there. All right, well, this is going to be useless, because now that it's double-walled, double-hulled, because of the breach in the inner containment, it's going to be hard to see these spider babies. Well, that's kind of a waste. Now I'm going to try to see if I can focus in on any of these through the double wall container and see if we can get any views so you can see what the spider babies look like up close. There seems to be quite a few of them in there. These ones I'm filming on top of the highlighter marker. There's uh, five or six up there playing around. There's a couple of bunches in different locations in the container, but uh, due to the increased opacity of the dual walled container now, it's hard to film them. So we're just going to watch these for a little bit. I don't know how many of the fruit flies I was able to get in this container, but it should be enough as long as the fruit flies don't eat all the spider babies or the spider babies can just start eating each other. So this is probably going to go into the fail video file. Yeah, that could have been really bad. We could have had spider babies all over. the I mean, we do, but this really, really bad. Oh, it would have been my fault opposed to, you know, Black Widow Spider's fault. All right, so... Did you ever know spider babies could be so tiny and so scary? Ugh. Pick comments in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.